What follows are snippets of what was said by various spirit communicators via different trance mediums over the period December 2019 to May 2021. All of these communications and many more are included in the James McQuitty book titled The Great Awakening, What the Spirit Guides Say. This first snippet comes from Augustine, communicating on the 3rd of December 2019, as follows. So it is in your world, so many, whether it be a church or whether be in the political realms or the commercial realms of your world are dominated by these individuals who seek power and control, whose great motivation is to be puffed up within their minds with the sense that they are important, that they have control over others, that they may make decisions that affect the lives of others. These individuals create a very dark condition within themselves if they are not motivated by love. So they are contrary to the laws of God's creation and the laws of love. This contrary action and life may bring its material rewards but as you all know, these rewards are very temporary indeed in relationship to one's life that carries on in such a long, long road of existence in spirit. So those individuals who are motivated by the human desires and predilections must face the consequences at some point in their existence. There are many who have lived a life of great power on earth and have found a condition of great diminishment in the world of spirit. So, beloved souls, when we ask you to be guided by God, to follow the desires of your soul, to express the truth as a humble child of God, to be in harmony with God's laws of love, to practice this each and every day, to discipline your thoughts so that they are elevated, to be aware of your motivations that you may nurture those motivations that are in harmony with God's laws and love, this is true leadership. This is true awakening. These religious organizations, if they were led by such individuals, would be very different than they are today. All the rules and edicts, dogmas and creeds that are superfluous to a spiritual life would be eliminated, falling away revealing the golden light of truth within each religion. When that can happen, when humanity is willing to let go of this deep desire for dominance and control and power and give way to God with a sincere desire within their soul to know God's will and to acknowledge God's will in a truthful way, then religions will melt away. Instead there will be a life that with each soul born into this world will have a natural component of spirituality to it. This next snippet comes from Kia Adikem, communicating on the 15th of March 2020 as follows. God has a plan for the salvation of humanity and I will assure you that there will be upliftment and progress upward rather than dissension and chaos, for it is in the present trajectory of humanity's intentions that this will come about, that much pain and suffering will be realized through the intentions of men. But what is happening now is the result of God's intervention, and in this way, many spiritual blessings and awakenings and manifestations will come with these changes. Many continue blindly down these roads of darkness, destruction and inharmony, and as I say, many do so innocently, asleep, trusting in the powers of men to ensure their safety and their well-being in the world. Unfortunately, this trust is very misplaced. The powers that be in this world do not consider the well-being of their brothers and sisters, but only of themselves. Those who are presently in power, who presently control the life in this world will lose that power and lose that control. The structures of your world are crumbling. You see this now as plans made and ideas of future plans seem unlikely and impractical as the world changes. The next snippet is from Josephus, communicating on the 27th of April 2020, as follows. The will of man, in what it has created in the world, will bring about a response in relation to the laws in which mankind is subject. Every action will bring some response. If that action is in harmony with the laws of creation, God's laws, then there will be a positive response and greater light is created. The atmosphere around the individual is lightened and purified to some degree. It is the thoughts as well as the deeds of each individual which determines this outcome. So we encourage you to have positive thoughts, to consider your actions, to be guided by God, to bring within yourself the great blessing of divine love which purifies the soul, thereby influencing individual thoughts and actions. You have trouble understanding how you may play your part in this global situation of conflict between Mother Earth and humanity. This is why we have assured you that there is a plan so that the outcomes of light and harmony, of truth and love, of wisdom and peace will come to your world. 
There is indeed intervention, but it is not how you perceive God's influence and effect in your world. It comes from the laws in action, those things that God has created for all eternity coming into play in response to men's actions and expressions. With this comes the help of spirits, high spirits and angels helping to guide each one of you in the way of wisdom and light. Even we cannot countermand the power of free will. We may only advise and assist where there is an opportunity and invitation from the individual to do so. Yet, we work with many, many souls on your world. We make great effort to influence many. This influence is coming to bear upon the minds of men. Many individuals are beginning to see the bigger picture as you call it. So much awaits humanity. You are on the verge of a great revolution of thought and deed, of desire and of the soul. May each of you continue to prepare yourselves for this event, or shall I say series of events, that will help to awaken humanity, bit by bit, to come to the truth. We are all on a powerful trajectory, this great plan that God has initiated, to bring this awakening, to bring the deep change that is needed in the world, may each of you consider the need for greater prayer, for greater awakening, for greater strength and love and light, for it is up to you, and up to all those who are beginning to awaken, to enact their part in this great revolution that will bring light to the world. Be attuned to God and be attuned to your own soul. Know yourself. Know yourself well and be in the flow of God's will and light and love and all will unfold in miraculous ways, in wondrous ways, in beautiful ways. There will be harmony, in time, great harmony and peace that will last and last. You will be the forerunners of a new world that will have in its existence, great light and peace, truth and love. Your future generations will benefit from your efforts. When your time comes to be in spirit and you look back upon your efforts, your time here on earth, and the choices you made, you may have great joy and acknowledgement of these efforts and choices for the benefit of humanity. This next snippet included herein comes from Zach, communicating during October 2020, as follows. Now what this actually means, that for a very, very long, period in history, what you might call, dishonesty, a lie, a falsehood, could be buried deep and go on for maybe hundreds, if not thousands of years. But now, of course, this truth is running, running, running. So it is highly likely that in all walks of life, truth comes out, and this is where the more grounded we are, the more in our own hearts, and in our own wisdom, we are able to take the barrage of truth. To have the freedom of expression, whatever that means for us. A further snippet is from Jonathan, communicating during November 2020 as follows. So we on the spirit side and the angelic beings are all watching over your world, we know exactly what is going on, we know that all the truths of the world will eventually, over time, come out, there is no hiding the truth from the great one is there, nothing at all, everything will be laid bare, doesn't matter what you try to hide it will surface, because this is a time of awakening, it means that the old you has to surface and be let go of and be healed, so whatever is going to be brought to the surface is not going to look very nice, so the world is not going to seem like a very nice place for a while. This next snippet is from none other than Abraham Lincoln, who communicated on the 28th of December 2020, as follows. Indeed, those who are elected to office often reflect the conditions of the electorate and reflect back to them their attitudes, desires, and perspectives of life. So it is not surprising that those who are elected to high office have demonstrated the baser desires of the human condition and sought further wealth and fame. Yet, this office within my country, the highest office, was meant to be an instrument of service to the people, of looking towards the welfare of all within my country and applying oneself with wisdom and love for all people in a way that uplifts and brings solution to the many dilemmas of life. Unfortunately, those ideals are long gone replaced by a fervent desire for power and control, of wealth and prestige. Humility is nowhere to be found in these administrations of late, merely a tragic reflection of what is now the norm in everyday life, what is now a downward spiral of my country and many countries in the world. Because the morals and spiritual aspirations of humanity have gone down a dark tunnel of need and desperation, of hollowness and superficiality, whose goal it is to gain notoriety, to teach the common masses ways of behavior, attitudes, 
and judgments which lack love, which degrade every individual rather than seeking to uplift and educate and encourage everyone to seek light, to have integrity, to conduct themselves in a way that they may contribute to society rather than seek to gain as much as they can by ignoring the needs of others around them. So, the common man pays a great price for their comforts, for their desire, for materialism and materialistic goals, and to be acknowledged in society. Many are downtrodden. Millions are suffering. Oh, how this country which was once mine and which I led, has grown to such a gargantuan size and population with so many currents of thought and ambition and expression making it into a huge conglomerate, a powerful expression in your world that is often admired and despised at the same time. These great currents, some of light but most of darkness, have come to alienate many in the world since the influence of my country is great upon this world. My prayers are with those who are strong enough to see these things, who have awakened to the reality of the situation, that not only affects my country, but many countries. The world is in great distress. The peoples of the world are either deeply asleep or greatly concerned. There is very little joy, very little appreciation of life, merely the relentless ambitions for the material, for power, for safety, all because there is deep fear and a lack of spirituality. The mind and the soul continue to languish in delusions and deceptions, and a lack of love, a lack of the motivation of the heart. My prayers are for this world. You must know that there are many millions of angels who are praying for your world, who are poised to do God's bidding to help lift up your world beyond these degrading conditions and attitudes, to something that is sustainable and of light. God has a plan indeed to foster conditions of light and to dissolve conditions of darkness. We will continue our efforts as I am sure will these dear souls and many others in your world who seek light, who desire greater equality and harmony in the world. Leaders are often born of necessity. I encourage each one of you and the many who are in association with you, to take up the mantle of leadership and speak the truth. I spoke the truth when I led my beautiful country. Yes, I paid a great price for this, but I have no regrets, no regrets whatsoever. Indeed, I did my part to help lift humanity up from error and darkness. Thus, you know of me today because of my efforts and because of my history. I tell you that each one of you has the power to stand firm in truth, to walk in the light, to demonstrate and speak of the light of God's love, the truth of expressing oneself with integrity, compassion, honesty, and love. This is what is needed in your world. This is what is needed to reverse the unfortunate direction of humanity which continues to spiral downward in a great effort from those who are dark and evil, to continue to degrade humanity with the baseness of human desire. Continue to prepare yourselves in the light of God's love, to be in harmony with God's laws of love, to seek the great blessing of His love within your souls, and much will come your way, my friends, many opportunities surprisingly with many avenues and doors open so that you may reach many and speak to many of the salvation of love that is available to all. This next snippet comes from Jesus who communicated on the 11th of March 2021, as follows. One of the attributes of God's great soul is compassion and love. So with compassion and love, God is working with His angels and with the forces of the universe to bring about change upon your world that will ensure that the powerful inclination of humanity towards in harmony and tinkering with forces of the earth plane towards destruction, will be neutralized, so that there is an opening and an opportunity for humanity to consider the consequences of its actions, so to consider that indeed there is a better way, a higher way to express themselves upon the earth plane. But indeed, the forces of change will become so potent and powerful that the ways in which humanity may express these dark conditions within them, and to do so collectively, will be greatly reduced because the instruments that humanity has created to bring war and destruction upon the planet will be neutralized by these waves of change. During these times of great change and turmoil and upliftment, there will be an opportunity for every soul to look within themselves, to reconcile the truth within them, to see that which they have created in their own lives, and to come to understand that they have a choice. God will infuse insight into every individual. God will ensure that every individual will see, to some degree, that which is meant to be, and that which is not part of God's plan for the salvation of humanity. But indeed, all must awaken. All will come to that place of understanding that the will of God is greater than the will of man, 
that the will of God dictates at this time that is creation, this vast and beautiful world that is part of God's universe, will indeed seek harmony for this is the law. In what way and to what extreme this harmony is sought will be determined by humanity in its responses and actions which it applies to resist the will of God. The time to reveal the truth is coming, beloved souls. The revealing of truth to humanity is a great gift from God. This is the outcome. This is the greatest outcome of God's intervention towards humanity to open the eyes of all so that they may see the truth of themselves, of their life upon this earth, and of their collective imprint upon this beautiful yet vulnerable place that you call home. Much will come, beloved souls, wave upon wave, like upon a seashore where a child has built a sandcastle and the great tides come and work their way upon that structure until there is nothing left. So this is how it will be the illusions of men will be washed away with the truth of God. So those who are willing to accept and adopt that which is truly of God and truly of God's reality will thrive upon this world and will build and reflect the great truth and great harmony of God's creation that will be so very different from that which you live today, so very different but indeed a world which will thrive in beauty, thrive in vitality, thrive in the creative forces that are a part of your world. Humanity will thrive in its understanding of its true natures, of the true forces that are within, and how these things will be married together, the physical and the spiritual, the mindful and the soulful in a way that will bring deep wisdom, powerful perceptions, understandings that will foster great inventions and possibilities for your material life upon this world. Each of you has chosen your journey. Each of you has done so in unique ways. In understanding this, it is important that you have great compassion for your brothers and sisters. Replace judgment with love. Replace ignorance with the truth. Replace reactivity with wisdom and grace. You need all of these qualities, beloved souls, in order to face what is coming, in order to be guided by God so that you may reach out and pull your brothers and sisters towards the light, towards the understanding of what is and what can be in relationship to God's great plan for the salvation of humanity. This final snippet also comes from Jesus, who communicated these and many other thoughts included in the book, on the 19th of May 2021, as follows. There are those who have come in material form and transport to observe the earthly plane, for as I have said, and many of you well know, this earth is in great flux, and is on the verge of great change. This brings those peoples who are curious and who wish to assist this earth in its great leap forward towards a higher level of consciousness, a higher level of expression, and a greater understanding of the workings of the universe. Those brothers and sisters from planets and even galaxies far beyond this one who have come to assist are often seen or imagined as enemies and those who wish to do harm to humanity. This is a reflection of the inner psyche of humanity which is built upon fear and a deep reticence to be open and to accept that which is not known or understood. Yet, all of these beautiful souls who are present within God's great universe are as you are, creatures of God, children of God. Once humanity comes to see this as a truth then indeed, the great floodgates of connection, of realization, of understanding will open to your world. As the world continues to change, however, and as God continues to pour His love and transformative blessings upon your world, there will come a time soon when these efforts will be realized and the assistance from your brothers and sisters from other places will come forward. This will be a time of great change, upheaval, such great waves of shifting understanding and perceptions of life that there will be for many the disillusion of their old paradigms and perceptions. They will not feel as if they are walking on solid ground, and will be greatly confused and distressed. With this great shift of perception and experience in life, there will come many opportunities for the higher forces, and that which is in alignment with God, to bring about interventions, to teach, to awaken those who have been sleeping, so that the dark night of human existence will now come to light, and the possibilities of light and truth, of wakefulness and of love, will take its place as humanity awakens. In this, many things will change as perspectives and priorities are shifted towards light, love, equanimity amongst humanity, and deep respect for all. The great disparity that now exists in your world will be removed. The many who are shackled to their fears and error and pain will find these chains dissolved by love, by the revelations that will come, by the dynamic forces that will be predominant within your world.
there will be no possibility of hiding away from these things as it will become plainly evident. The awakening of humanity will not, and cannot, be resisted, though many will try. Many will look in disbelief. Many will be fervent with their efforts to disregard this new reality. The only way in which this may be done successfully will be if that individual's soul leaves their body and transitions into a plane that is more in alignment with their thinking and being. There will be those who will transition because they cannot live in a plane that is of such light and building harmony. They cannot accept the changes that are coming, and they will not see beyond their willfulness and desire for the old comforts, the old perceptions and understanding of the world. This rising up from darkness is the next necessary step in the evolution of your world. It is coming soon, and in many ways it is upon us now. Indeed, there will be material manifestations, expressions upon your world that will indicate the great shift that is unfolding, and continues to manifest, in the coming years. These manifestations will grow in intensity. With this will come deep inspiration to many souls upon your world, there will come revelations of understanding, of knowing, that will comfort the hearts of those who are receptive, and help them to move forward within this great momentum of change. The spirit communications included in this video and from a variety of souls through an array of mediums, are just a small example of the communications recorded in. The Great Awakening, What the Spirit Guides Say See the description box below for links to appropriate webpage. And do feel free to share this video.